Welcome back. Today, we're diving into the most intriguing and debated topic, mystery of alleged 800 million year old Tussle sleeping princess. The history of the so-called Tessel princess has been exciting the imagination for several years, giving rise to more questions than answers. The story of the discovery of the Tisul princess is described in an article by Oleg Kulishkin, The Lady Who Is 800 Million Years, published in the Abakan newspaper Kakassia in 2002. Many mysterious artifacts have already been discovered in the coal seams, but none of them can compare with the sensational find made in 1969 in the Kemerovo region village of Rzevchik Tisulskago. During stripping work at the local coal mine, a miner named Karnaukov came across an intricately crafted marble coffin approximately 70 meters below the surface of the earth. The coffin was brought to the surface where the coal miners crowded around and attempted to open it by wrapping on the edges. The lid of the box was perfectly fitted. For a stronger connection, the inner edges were bordered by a double edge, which fit tightly into the six-inch thickness of the walls. The coffin was beginning to melt into the sun and eventually began to flow, putty-like, onto the ground and revealed what was inside. Initially, the miners spotted that the coffin was brimming with an unidentified pink and blue liquid. Embalmed within, the liquid was an incredibly beautiful woman of approximately 30 years old, with large blue eyes that remained eerily open. Thick, dark blonde curls with a reddish tint to her waist lightly covered the soft white hands that rested along her body with short, neatly trimmed nails. She was dressed in a sheer snow-white lace dress just below her knees with short sleeves embroidered with multicolored flowers. It seemed that the woman was not dead, but asleep. At the head of the bed there is a rectangular black metal box, rounded at one end, something like a cell phone. News of the discovery quickly spread among the local village, and then the authorities became involved. At approximately two in the afternoon, a helicopter landed at the site and declared that the area was in quarantine, and that everybody who had witnessed what was inside the coffin would have to be temporarily isolated. The coffin was too heavy to be carried in the helicopter, and so the officials decided to empty the liquid before transportation. Bef As they began to pump away the fluid, the corpse began to blacken almost instantaneously. Bizarrely, when they replaced the liquid, the corpse retook the form of the beautiful woman. At the same time, one of the workers tasted the liquid. The coffin was closed and transferred to a helicopter. The remains of the putty were collected along with the dirt in plastic bags and the witnesses were ordered to disperse. After that, the helicopter was raised and headed for Novosibirsk. Five days after the discovery, a professor from Novosibirsk who had been tasked with investigating the body said that the find had the potential to turn human understanding upside down. The professor said that he was certain that the body was at least 800 million years old. This refutes the Darwinian theory of the origin of man from the ape. The woman is buried in the Carboniferous period of the Paleozoic era, millions of years before the appearance of the dinosaurs. The original coffin with the woman's body was in a wooden crypt in the middle of a deep forest. Over time, the crypt was completely buried in the ground, collapsed, and without access to oxygen. For hundreds of millions of years, it became a monolithic coal seam. At first, an alien version was featured, but genetic analysis of the woman's body showed her 100% similarity to modern Russian man. It was also established that the level of civilization to which the woman belonged is much higher than ours. In particular, the technique of producing the fabric of which the dress is made is not yet known to humanity. It was not possible to determine the composition of the liquid only some of its constituent components, formed by the oldest varieties of onions and garlic, were identified. Who was Princess Tisul, and what was her royal age? There are no coal seams on earth that are 800 million years old, they are at most 300, 340 million years old. We really don't understand why the princess was between 600 and 800 million years old. It is difficult to imagine that such a beautiful creature appeared at that time in the process of evolution of terrestrial species. Terrestrial. Although the elderly professor ruled out the alien origin of Princess Tysol from Oleg Kulishkin's article, 
I think this is the only real explanation for the appearance on Earth in those days of such perfect people of the modern type, who also possessed high technologies. Perhaps it was the surviving Martians who left their planet after the disaster, or the crew of a spacecraft that crashed on Earth. There is reason to believe that Princess Tisul might be in a state of suspended animation, and the metal box in the sarcophagus was a kind of timer to wake up and a means of providing a chance to surface. From the position of the princess's body, it can be assumed that she was not going to wake up in 1969. Perhaps the premature opening of the sarcophagus and the drainage of the liquid killed the time traveler. From time to time, materials about this find appear in newspapers, magazines, the internet, and television. So in Oleg Gusev's book, Ancient Russia and the Great Turan, Chapter 11, Typical Russian Face, is dedicated to the woman discovered in the sarcophagus. Novosibirsk parapsychologist Vadim Grishin proposed the assumption that the woman in the sarcophagus is a biorobot, a kind of clone of a representative of a powerful super-civilization that once actually lived. Also, her age is not 800 million years, but only about 50,000. Scientists named this figure based on the fact that the sarcophagus was discovered in a seam of coal that formed 800 million years ago. However, the sarcophagus was not originally on this layer. According to Grecian, the Hyperboreans foresaw the death of their civilization as a result of the war with the Atlanteans and thus cut a deep well and safely walled up a messenger with important information for posterity. At the appointed time, a metal box placed at the headboard was supposed to send a signal to the biorobot, which activates its activity. We would like to hope that sooner or later we will discover all the details about the sensational find made in 1969 in a coal mine in the village of Erzovchik. If you enjoyed this adventure, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more captivating explorations into history's enigmas. Until next time, keep pondering, keep discovering, and keep embracing the wonders of our past.